Hey there, today I'm going to walk you through one of the most exciting new features in WordPress 5.2 and it's called Recovery Mode. Now, I'm sure all of us have experienced a WordPress white screen of death one time or another. We go to update a plugin or make a small change and whoops, we had a typo and the website is broken. Recovery Mode is awesome because it's going to allow us to continue to access the back end of the site even if things go sideways. Let's give it a try. So I just have a normal WordPress theme uh, set up here. This is just 2019 installed, and I've got a handful of plugins. Nothing, um, you know, nothing too serious here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the website now. Typically speaking, if there was an if there was a syntax error in um, WordPress, it would generate some kind of um, you know it would generate some kind of code. Uh, sorry, fatal error, and we wouldn't be able to access the website anymore. But recovery mode changes that, and it's pretty sweet. So I'm going to come to uh, let's go to let's come to Yoast here, and let's change this admin function name to something that uh, doesn't exist. We're going to call it uh, break the site just for fun, and we'll save that. Now, obviously with uh, if we're calling a function that doesn't exist, bad things are going to happen. So I'm going to come here, and sure enough, um, my website is broken. Um, you'll see this message. The site is experiencing technical difficulties. This is a new message from, um, you know, this is a new message from WordPress 5.2. Typically speaking, you'd either have just a bunch of gibberish being output on the page, or you would have um, a white screen that nobody understood what was going on. So that's a nice improvement of itself because it at least it lets users know, hey, something is a little bit wrong. When that happens, when the site breaks, this is probably the most impressive part of uh, recovery mode. WordPress sends an email that says, hey, your website's broken. It was caused by the following plugin, Yoast SEO, and it sends this one-time use link to enter into recovery mode. Now, any user can, um, any user on the website uh, can use this link to access the back end of the site. The other thing that's awesome is that it tells you exactly what the issue is. So it's saying there's an uncaught error, there is um, this admin class is not found, and you need to make it, to, you know, you need to make an adjustment to um, solve this issue. So let's go ahead and click on the link. I've broken things pretty badly, so um, recovery mode has started. So you'll see now if there's a message, you are in recovery mode. This means that the plug there may be an error with a theme or plugin to exit recovery mode, log out of, uh, or use the exit button. So, um, you know, so I can click to exit recovery mode if I believe the issue is resolved. But if I'm not sure, you can see this fatal error message now that's telling me to go to the plugin screen. Well, if I go to the plugin screen, there's a new plugin status called paused, and uh, which is really interesting, and uh, it's telling me exactly the error that was uh, causing the issue. And until I resume this, the code, this plugin will no longer disrupt the website. I know that I fixed the issue now, so I am going to resume it. The plugin is back to active, and I can exit recovery mode, and everything is back to normal. Website is fine again. So, really fantastic feature for uh, recovering, you know, a, uh, issues caused by a broken plugin. Uh, gives a nice, uh, nice message to users if a site does break, rather than just sending them to a white screen and most importantly notifies the uh, site owner set at this email address uh, anytime that a fatal error does occur so you know right away and can work on start working on a resolution if there's an unexpected um, issue that comes up so props to the team for recovery mode this looks like a very promising feature I'm excited to see what they do with it and um, that is yeah, and that's a breakdown of recovery mode. Have a great day.